different formulas to find the exact number of sample to be chosen from a population. So we are in a position while we are dealing with the population to find the exact number of samples that need to be surveyed for finding the uh, conclusions and answers. So how to choose uh, the exact number of household to be surveyed in case of any survey. So let us discuss the various uh, methods or formulas which are there uh, to help us to find the sample size when we know the population is finite. So the question arises what should be the exact size of the population? So in order to select a proper number of samples to be surveyed in a known population is a very important task as the sample will give us information. Also we must keep in mind that the sample should not be too large as it will waste both time and money of the investigator. Also it should again be remembered that the sample should not be so small that it will not be able to give accurate information regarding the population. Therefore, we must keep in mind to think about that the sample should not be too large or it should not be too low. So there are several formulas and uh, to find the sample from a finite number of population. They are Yamane's formula, Kochran's formula and Slovin's formula. So these three formulas helps us to find out the exact number of sample to be surveyed in case of any finite population. So let us first discuss Yamane's formula. Yamane's formula is given by Taro Yamane who came up with a simple formula to calculate the sample size in the year 1967. His formula is a simple one and can be written as small n equals to capital N divided by 1 plus n into e square. Here it must be noted that in order to apply this formula one must know the total number of population that is we must know the exact number of population. So the exact number of population will be determined by capital N and small n will determine the sample size. So if we know the total number of population, suppose in a uh, district we know the exact number of household, we can apply this formula by taking our uh, own choice of margin of error, that is the error term. You can keep the error term at 1%, at 5% or at 10%. So if you are using the 1% error term, that means your sample is 99% accurate, respectively 95% accurate and 90% accurate. So this is Yamane's formula for finding sample size. Next up is the Kochran's formula. Kochran's formula is basically used in situation when the population is quite large and also when the units of the population are heterogeneous. So in such a situation it is advisable to make use of the Kochran formula. The Kochran formula is defined as n naught equals to z square multiplied by pq and it is divided by the e square where e is the margin of error or the de desired level of precision that is how much error you are able to accept. p is the proportion of population which has the attribute in question. Obviously p is the probability of proportion of population and q is 1 minus p. The z square that is given in the formula is found in the z table. And lastly, the third formula which often is used and it is a simple formula uh, and uh, this formula is known as the Slovin's formula and it is mostly used when we do not have any kind of information regarding the behavior of the population that is if the population is unruly and we do not know anything about its behavior we basically apply the Slovin's formula. It is a random sampling technique formula which helps us to find the exact sample size which needs to be surveyed. Therefore, it is computed as small n equals to capital N divided by 1 plus n into e square where n is the capital N is the total population, small n is the number of samples that we need to find for survey and E is the error margin. Now certain things we must keep in mind 
before using any kind of sample size from any population to find information. So, before we calculate our sample size, we must make sure that these things are in place. So, the first thing that we must keep in mind is the goal and objective. Regarding the goals and objective of our survey, it will decide up upon the households to be surveyed. Number two, precision level. Precision level is the amount of error that you are uh, able to absorb. What should be the em error amount? We must keep these things in mind from before. Number three, the confidence level. The data to be collected and the number of household to be surveyed is regarded, the, con uh, the confidence level should be uh, in mind. That is whether you want it to be a 95% confidence level or a 99% or simply 75% confidence will also do. Number four, population variability. The variability in the population should also be kept in mind before exactly calculating the sample size. Number five, response rate. So the number of household will also depend upon the response rate. Suppose if we go to a very backward area where people are not at all aware about any kind of things in the outside world, then it is very hard to find a proper response rate. So in that situation, even if we have a very high number of samples, it is hard to find the exact information. And lastly, consider your audience. We should always keep in mind regarding the audience that we are going to interview. So these are the things that we must keep in mind before finding or before uh, trying to solve any kind of uh, um, sample size from a uh, certain amount of population.